Where's it going? It's going yeah. across. But that went right. I don't care. That went her. That went right through our yard. Wow. Did they get in the trailer? I'm going to keep it going that way. We are. Please, no, I can jump. You're safe, baby. That's all that matters. Calm down, kids. Just, kids, please take a breath. We have a tornado headed towards this way. This is the story about the 2011 Rainsville tornado, a haunting reminder of nature's fury etched into the history of Northeast Alabama. Rambo, come on. All right, all right. Come on. Come on. On the late afternoon of April 27, 2011, this catastrophic EF5 tornado carved a devastating path through DeKalb County leaving 25 people dead, countless injured, and more than $10 million in damage. Daddy, get in! It's coming! It's moving to our right, Amy. We're okay. This tornado was the fourth and final EF5 of the infamous 2011 super outbreak, the largest and most violent tornado outbreak ever recorded. This is the tornado that just passed over our house. Oh, my word. God is so amazing. Oh, Jeff, is it coming back this way? There it is. The storm that would eventually spawn the Rainsville tornado began its life near Harperville, Mississippi on the afternoon. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus, Lord, help us. Oh, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Get in the... The conditions were ripe for disaster. With a potent combination of wind shear, instability, and moisture, creating an environment conducive to supercells capable of producing violent tornadoes. Look over there. I see. Yes, it is. Is there any damage? No, I'm not worried about that. I don't think so. Anywhere. I'm, oh, man. That is unbelievable. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh. Daddy's house is right there. How close is it? Oh, God. As the storm system moved northeast, it left a trail of destruction across multiple states, producing an EF5 tornado in Mississippi and an EF4 in central Alabama before finally unleashing its full fury on DeKalb County. We do have a tornado here. The tornado touched down near the Lakeview community, northeast of Geraldine, Alabama. Initially causing minor damage, the storm quickly escalated as it approached Fife, where it began to display its terrifying multi-vortex structure. Please just go somewhere else, please God! Okay, Jake, just wait! Got heavy damage. Oh Lord, mama, please be okay. God, thank you, get out of here! Jack, Jack, it's going that way! No, it's not, it's stolen! Don't go towards I'm it! I'm not! Man, it's turning! Go no, it is not. down the dirt road! Go down the dirt road! Oh my god! Why I'm you going! Don't listen to me! Don't go there! I doubt you'll be going to school tomorrow. As it intensified, the tornado obliterated everything in its path, particularly in the areas of Shiloh, Rainsville, and Hennegar, where it reached its peak intensity of EF5. You're safe, baby. That's all that matters. Calm down, kids. Just, kids, please, take a breath. In Rainsville, the destruction was almost unimaginable.
The tornado's strength was so immense that it scoured the earth, ripped up concrete foundations, and tossed large vehicles hundreds of yards. Is it going the other way? No, it's... No, it's not. No, it's not. Our house is back over this way, buddy. It's, it's going to Sylvania, unfortunately. In its wake, families were left shattered, and entire communities were unrecognizable. This. Stopped. It's like stopping. It means it could be turning. I don't. The CD, it's a little over for the Diddy's house is right there. Look, there's somebody's leaving in it. Did they not see that? The aftermath of the tornado saw a massive outpouring of support from both local and national organizations. In the immediate days following the disaster, Alabama Governor Robert Bentley declared a state of emergency and relief efforts began to take shape. Volunteers from local schools, churches, and community organizations worked tirelessly alongside national groups like the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army to provide food, shelter, and emotional support to those affected. If you are planning to build a house, especially east of the Rockies, consider an underground tornado shelter or an interior safe room. Prevention and practice before the storm. Know where you can take shelter in a matter of seconds and practice a family tornado drill at least once a year. Have a predetermined place to meet after a disaster. Flying debris is the greatest danger in tornadoes so store protective coverings in or next to your shelter space, ready to use on a few seconds. When a tornado watch is issued, think about the drill and check to make sure all your safety supplies are handy. Turn on local news and stay alert for warnings.